warders that were employed on St Helena were basically prisoners themselves. They had structured lives. And um, one of the prisoners commented once, you know, that he thinks the warders have it worse than we, than the prisoners do, um, because they had something called a telltale clock. The telltale clock was the thing that really kept the warders absolutely on task. This is a prison, so not everyone's trusted. And they didn't trust the warders either. When they were on duty, they had to mark this clock every half hour. So with the clock, a number would appear in the little dial of the clock. And at that point, they had to make sure they were at the end of the corridor where they could uh, punch it into uh, a little box and it would actually punch the number with a letter, a corresponding letter. Many, many times, warders were caught out because the telltale clock revealed what they'd actually been doing. But even warders could be more devious than prisoners and some of them actually broke into the clock to change the card. There was a story of a particular warder, his name was William Tatton, and he was accused twice of tampering with the telltale clock. He pled not guilty to both of those, but the second time in 1887, he brought his clock in at the end of the night and he put it into the guard room, which was where Chief Warder James Hamilton uh, was sitting. And he saw William Tatton's clock and he realised that the paper dial of the clock had been uh, adjusted or had done something with it so you could actually spin it around, which it wasn't supposed to do. And he noticed also at the 2.30 a.m. mark, there was a scratch and a tear on the paper, which didn't look like it had been done by the normal machine that it was punched into. So William Tatton was brought up and charged with tampering with the clock. Damaging prison equipment. And yeah, they would have been punished for it, but <laughs> It wouldn't give the prisoners uh, much respect for them. And they're the men who are guarding them. But the telltale clock always told the truth.